today I am by a different bit of sea than usual. I'm here in San Francisco. So I've spent the last two days traveling here from my little bit of the coastline over on the Isle of Wight. And my journey involved several different states. And because I'm traveling by myself, there was all sorts of uncertainty with schedules and getting places and connections. So it seemed a timely point to talk about new things and the adventure of being a newly qualified speech and language therapist. So I qualified as a speech and language therapist over 10 years ago, but I still vividly remember all the nerves of being a student and being newly qualified and feeling like I didn't kind of know enough and being really nervous as I entered each therapy appointment. And so when someone contacted me just last week telling me that she's due to qualify soon and asking for any advice along the way, I thought I'd share with you my perspective, the things I wish that I had known when I first qualified my top tips for life as a newly qualified speech and language therapist. My first top tip would be to approach everything with curiosity. Your training has given you the skills to be a reflective practitioner, a critical thinker, and an effective researcher. You don't have to have all the answers right now. You just need to feel confident that you can find out the answers to the questions that you might have and that you can be honest with the people, that the families that you're supporting, the clients you're working with, the team that you're involved with, about the things that you need to figure out more, the things that you are bringing from your training. Feel free to ask the questions. You don't have to have all of the answers. No trip to San Francisco is complete without a trip up to visit the Coit Tower, so uh, we're on a mission upwards. Second piece of advice is to build your own support network. There's the people within your own team, but also there's lots to be gained from learning from the people around you more generally. And you, as a newly qualified practitioner, have a really valuable contribution to make. You have access to recent research, you've seen lots of different places of work on student placements, and so having that network that you can have active conversations in and make an active contribution to will enhance the work that you do and also help you to improve as a practitioner. And remember that we live in a connected world these days. Your support network can be global, can be as wide as you really want to make it. There's all sorts of speech therapy hashtags on Twitter, there's Facebook groups, there's your own university colleagues that you can keep in touch with. And finally, be kind to yourself. You're going to have days with difficult clients and heavy workloads and sessions that just don't go well and that's okay. You're going to learn from every one of those opportunities. My first supervisor taught me once that there is an ebb and flow to our work and there are points in the year when things are crazy busy and so you have to allow there to be a point when you can relax a little bit and rest and look after yourself so you can turn up the best you can be for those families and those clients that you are serving. Speak to your team, build up that support network, ask the difficult questions, be open about your own learning, and I hope you enjoy the process. So I'm gonna be kind to myself and grab some pancakes next. Uh, my name's Bryony Rust, thank you for joining me today, and you might know that I make new videos every week this month they're all going to be from sunny California so if you would like to see some more of that then please hit subscribe and I'll see you next week.